peacekeeping room takes us to rural South Carolina during the American Civil War. While the men are away, Britt Marling and Haley Steinfield have to protect the farm from pillaging Union soldiers. At the Toronto International Film Festival, this is Red Carpet Diary. We've seen so many war films, and it's always about the men in the trenches and the glory or dishonor of those battles. And this is about what happens when men have been pushed to such an extreme place in order to fight those wars that they come out and take that violence you know, home to the community, to the sort of civilian space. It's a film that puts women to the forefront of the story. Three strong women at a difficult time in history doing their best to battle to survive. These three young women have to defend themselves against the invasion of their house and it's something you've never seen before. In fact, I mean, largely left out of the history books. All the issues still exist within the keeping room, but the, in the microcosm of the keeping room, and yet these women are learning to deal with it without violence, and they only have resort to violence when the war literally comes to their door. And so it's, it was finding that arc and finding that journey that was part of the challenge. The trick to playing a bad guy, for want of a better word, is you don't want it to be the old mustache twirling evil villain so we kind of I looked at it as if this guy was in love with Britt Marlin and he just wanted to love her character and have a family with her so the way he goes about it is obviously wrong and terrifying and nasty but to him he's just besotted with this girl. My character makes an incredible transformation from the beginning to the end of the film where she becomes a young woman and she realizes that all you really need in life are the people that are right in front of you and love and to be loved and um, and that's what that's what this movie is all about. You haven't seen the movie yet. No, I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, <laughs> I haven't told him it's a this, short film. Is there something? That, yeah, <laughs> it's a black and white comedy. I yeah. hear. I haven't told yeah. him that me and him aren't in it. <laughs> we got cut out. <laughs> it's all right, mate. So what? <laughs> the bond that was created between the three of us uh, personally was was incredible. We read a great line today where it said that it's the quiet one to watch at tip. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a silent movie now. Oh, I right. didn't tell you that either. Right, it's the homage to uh, <laughs> the yeah, artist. silent film. Right, oh, the right, right, great. Awesome, that all makes sense. From older... What are you, what are you doing to this poor girl? <laughs> Isn't she been terrorised enough? I'm asking a very lovely question. What kind of questions are you asking lovely her? Questions. First of all, I got one. I was told I was on one question. Yeah, what's, asked, what's the question? I asked her about her role. She's here to promote the I'm movie. I'm talking about my role. All right. Make it, make it quick. We've got to okay, so on. basically, yeah, no, uh, thanks.